Tata Foundation, Hurricane Barrel Disaster Relief. Thank you to all our supporters. Hi, my name is Carmen. Okay, Carmen, you are participating in the Jagger Foundation Disaster Relief, Hurricane Disaster Relief for Jamaica. Yes, I am. Tell us why you decided to participate. There's a need and I want to help. Are you from the St. Elizabeth area? No, I'm from Kingston. From Kingston? Yeah. But it, it came on your heart that you want to give back. Yeah, Dr. Dixon said he needed help, so. Okay, so Nothing. let's take a look at what you have here, some of the things you have. Yeah. What are some of the things you bought? Just bought everything. Yeah? Yeah, I bought, I got school supplies, I got cleaning supplies, I got dish soap, I got food, oil, sugar, flour. Oh my gosh, oh, you bought a lot of nice things there. Yeah. Well, okay, well, thank you so much for uh, helping out, okay? No problem. We appreciate it, right? No problem. My name is Cassia, I'm from Brazil. I work for a non-profit foundation work named Mantena and I bought a box of toiletries for, you know, diapers, soap, everything needed for the, to help out for the, the hurricane in Jamaica. Jamaica. Yes, for the relief. Right. Now, why did you, was it so important to you to participate in this Jagger Foundation disaster relief? Uh, I received the test message and I, I go to Jamaica all the time and then I know people need, you know, because it's a very difficult moment for them. Right. Not everybody's privileged to can buy again. Some people might not have a glass of water to drink, right? Right. Well, we thank you on behalf of the Jagger Foundation so much for supporting us. Thank really you. appreciate it. Anytime. Okay? Right. Thank you. Thank you. These are some care packages um, that was donated by University Hospital in North um, for people who has blankets, um, clothing, and stuff inside of Okay, so my name is Erica Ray Stoddart. My name is Ernesta Osborne. Okay, and thank you very much for participating in this disaster relief for our family members and friends in Jamaica. Why was it so important to you to participate? Well, it was important for me to participate. One, I am a Jamaican. I see what the storm has done. And I'm always having a, a passion inside of me to always give back in whatever way I can. So this is my little way of giving back, so I'm giving back. And why did you bring us here today? I bring some thin items. Those are not my stuff. These are her stuff. My stuff is in my car over there. Okay. But I bring some um, like um, hygienical things. I bring some school things like pens and pencils. And I bring some food items, rice and thin stuff like that. Okay, well, thank you. What did you bring? Well, I bring food items also. And um, I have family in Jamaica and I see what um, the hurricane did even to my family property and stuff so i always like to help and you know i know there's needy people i'm not going to sit and wait and say okay you know what they're better off than me or something or they don't need it they do we all need help yeah. right. you know so i have to help yeah. okay well thank you so much for you're helping welcome. out you're welcome. I greatly appreciate the help right anytime okay. anytime yeah. thank you if you have the you have the good things then the rice yeah. there and the yeah the rice okay. and the tin thing oh my gosh we got a lot of stuff here Ah, that bag is empty. Oh. You have the books, the rice. My name is Sidoni. 
Alright, and you're here today participating in the Jada Foundation Hurricane Burial Disaster Relief. Yes, I am. We're so grateful that you're uh, participating. Mm -hmm. Why did you decide to participate? Why not? Why not? Okay. When I got the text, the email, and um, some Facebook notifications, I said, hmm, Jada Foundation, why not? Because I've been a part of the boat rides for a number of years and the uh, not only the boat rides, but also the, the, gala. the galas that they put on, which are um, magnificent. Right, and so the cause is, is, you know, yeah. Right, so you're here with one of the directors of Jada Foundation, Mr. Andy Roberts. Mr. Roberts, what would you like to say to her? Listen, I want to let everyone know that we appreciate all the gifts for the people of Jamaica. Right. And ma'am, we appreciate you for always supporting and stepping up to the plate to support the Jada Foundation. And Absolutely. whenever we call, you answer and Jaja Foundation appreciates you. Of course. Well, we, we appreciate what you guys do as well, so it's not just me. And I hope that more people will step in and pitch in. A little bit goes a long way. A box of cornflakes, two thing of bully beef, bring it on. Yes. So, lastly, what are some of the items that you contributed here today? I personally got school supplies. Right. You That's know. your uh, angle school? Yes. Well, yeah. Okay. <laughs> and my girlfriend, she got the 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 food supplies, like the toothbrushes, yes. the soaps, soaps. The, the canned goods. Right. I just picked it up this morning from her. So I, Nadine, big up. Thanks, Nadine, for your What's help. What's her name, Nadine? Nadine, yes. Okay. She was also on the boat ride. Okay. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for coming out and supporting. Mm -hmm. And I'd like you to know that we appreciate it. Of course. Mr. Roberts, any final thoughts? Thank you everyone for supporting the Jaja Foundation and supporting the people of Jamaica in all we do. Blessings, thank you. Uh, my name is Alfredo Valderas, I'm a painter. I came to paint this uh, container. Um, for the Jaja Foundation. For the right? Foundation. Right. What's the name? Jaja. Jaja uh, Jaja Fond Foundation. Right. Yeah. So we want to say thank you for helping us out with this initiative. We greatly appreciate it. Andy is one of the directors from yes. the Jada Foundation. Yes, and we're going to say thank you very much for helping us thank out. Thank you for and calling on you first did a, you did an excellent job, and um, we look forward to calling on you in, in the future to help anytime, out Jada Foundation. Anytime. All right? Okay, thank you very yes. much. Thank you. Bye bye. My name is Pauletta Scott. And you? Sabina Sadler. And you? Tracy and Byfield. All right, ladies, you decided to participate in the Jada Foundation disaster relief effort to Jamaica. Why did you decide to come? Because I love my Jamaican, every single one, especially the good ones. <laughs> okay. And you? Same thing. I love my Jamaican. Same thing? Yeah. I just wanted to help the people that are in need. Okay. Yes, yeah, so on behalf of the Jaja Foundation, we want to thank you for always supporting us. Thank you for coming out and supporting the people of Jamaica. You know, you know, I really appreciate you guys. Absolutely. Very well. Absolutely. Thank you very much. You're welcome. This is the only time you guys do this or you do it all the time? No, right now this is a special um, Baron, special, special for Baron. For Baron. After a long journey in traffic, I collected some items from members of the Jamaica Nurses Group of New York. So we have food and health and educational stuff. Cover the three areas. You know, with this hurricane relief, there are several groups trying to help Jamaica at this time. But as a member of Jaja Foundation, I thought it would be very important for me to make that my first choice. And secondly, as a member of the Jamaica Nurses Group of New York, I, you know, I said, let me get some help. So I went to the members and within a very short time, of course, they're saying, complaining that they can do more. They didn't have enough time to buy items for this weekend. So I said, that's fine money is also needed and so that's the next round the members are collecting to be able to sell to judge a foundation but today we're making sure that persons would have food to eat we have toiletries we have school items um, first aid and I believe there's some blood pressure machines so we try to cover like the infrastructure the health and education and the financial piece because listen collection that's another one thing but jaja has to find money to send these items to jamaica and we have liaisons on the ground who would also wait who are also waiting to do the work to make sure that these items go to the needed persons that's why why is it so important in your view to be 
responsive at this time regarding this hurricane? Because we know we have been going to Jamaica for a number of years servicing the people and we cannot just depend on the government alone. And not only that, whatever the government is doing, we, we can answer to them, but we know, Jaja knows that they can get right into the communities, right? And we know when we give items to Jaja, we don't have to worry where they're going. They're going to someone who needs it. Okay, well, thank you for all you do and we appreciate your continued support, okay? You're welcome. I bought school supplies, some flashlights, lanterns, backpacks, toilet paper, um, and more school supplies. Yeah. Just hoping to be able to bless somebody in Jamaica that lost everything or most things. Um, one less thing for them to worry about, parents who are probably worried about sending their children back to school. Um, we're just doing our small part to be able to alleviate some of the stress and the worries. And why, did it, why was it so important for you to give back? It's important to give back because to whom much is given, much is expected. And I've been blessed enough to um, go through my education, most time worry free, and I know what it could be for some parents who aren't able to uh, readily find. They're, they're probably worried that their children may be unhappy, and with the storm that just happened, that already is traumatizing. So it's very important for my family and I to be able to give something. Okay, well, thank you so much. I want to know that we appreciate it. Okay. You're welcome. It's a pleasure. Hi, Patrice. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> right, let's roll it in. How are you? Good. How are you? Hello, I'm good. Michael, welcome to New Jersey. What's going on? Here? Yeah, man. Thank you, man. Thank you, man. Yeah, this is Michael Williams from the Outside Lounge and Natural Fountain. I'm here to drop off some well-needed goods for the Georgia Foundation for the food container to go to Jamaica. I have my car loaded with stuff right. from the front to the back. Right. You know, so, so you, you passed by Calvary. Tell us about that encounter at Calvary. Tony said that he came over there. Yeah, man, yeah, man. Tony, I went by um, Calvary, Calvary Missionary um, Food Center. Calvin gave me a whole heap of stuff on the back of the car. You know, so me and Calvin have a nice little, me and Tony have a nice little talk about this whole mission. So it's well needed, and he was just happy to be a part of it. He couldn't be here tonight, but I'm here. Send his love and blessing. Send his love and blessing. You know, so I'm here in the Garden State just to drop off some goodies from the outside lounge, Natural Fountain. Did you bring you any Natural Fountain juice for the customer? I did. I did. And I bring, brought some ice as well with some, with some big red cup. Okay, good. So you're going to enjoy the Natural Fountain juices. All right, well, you know? thank you for your hospitality, all right? And thanks for coming. Yeah, on. man. And what I want to be a sister, you see, God has blessed me in a special way, right? And it would be... It wouldn't be good on my part to just keep that blessing for myself. Right. You always have to share the blessing of the Father who stood upon you, and that's why that's what I'm here. My mother, Mother June, has taught me if it's one banana between me and my sisters, then it's a to share for all, all of us. Right. And that's why, you know, I think it is really, really important that I'm here today to try to be a part of this mission. The disaster relief mission. Yeah, the disaster relief mission. And I'm so happy that God has blessed me, put me in a place where I can contribute some stuff towards this mission. Because back in the days, you know, when we grew up in a Jonestown, now we moved from Trenstone to Jonestown, great being a sausage was luxury, you know. Corn beef was luxury. Corn flakes was luxury. And I'm now in a position to buy 14, 20 tin of corned beef, 20 tin of Vienna sausage. So we can give it to my brothers and sisters and say, boy, this is for me who went through the grind in Jamaica and the blessing that God has shown upon me, I am here to move that forward. And Mother Jones have taught me, Mikey, if you have a dollar, 50 cents is somebody else. Right. Don't take the dollar on your own, it's not yours. <laughs> and I keep, that, I keep that, that lesson. Right. Be, be live and die for Mother Jones' blessing enough, for Mother Jones' teaching, I should say. Right. You know, you whatever. Well. Yeah, man, my mother, my, that's why, that's, Gavin, that's why I have talk about my mother so much, you know, because my mother has, and I'm getting emotional now, right. but she has taught me. Mikey, whatever you do, whatever you get, you save a little bit, 
share. eat a little bit and share a little bit. Right. That's, That's it. Right. And I'm, I'm, I'm not going to get emotional now. <laughs> but so, so, so some of what you have. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right now. Walk around and open up the flyer, flyer the we, gate. We have, we have, we have some, 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 some things from 